Hi there, welcome again to my channel. My name is Demi Alabi. Today is Children's Day and Chichi Life here on YouTube and I have decided that what better way to celebrate Children's Day than to relieve our childhood memories. Um, Ola Yemi Oenya on YouTube started this tag. We didn't start this tag, but we decided to like put questions to the tag so we have, you know, we kind of narrowed down what we want to talk about here on YouTube. So I have the questions um, down on my phone and let's just get right into these questions. The first question says, where were you born? I was born in Lagos, Nigeria. Ambition as a child. That's the second question. I never really actually had an ambition as a child. I don't know. I actually I remember I thought of this one day and I asked my dad, I'm like, Daddy, growing up, what did I see? I wanted to be said. You never actually said anything. And I'm like, why were you not worried? He said, because I knew that in due time, you find out what you want to be. And I remember when I was like in junior school, I watched Diego and Paloma when they were mine. And I decided, you know what? I want to be that girl that does the presentation. I want to be that girl that works late night and does all the graphic things and things like that. So it's kind of what I find myself doing. So yeah, favorite songs growing up. I have a few songs. I have downloaded them already to play for you. Um, so let me start with my first one. This is my first favorite song. I remember dancing to this at parties. So let's go. If you see my mama Osana, tell them say oh. Let's make glasses. Hey. I don't get the problem. Let's go to the second one so you don't understand. Hey. Sa. Le 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 This is Kong Kong Below by Lagba Jack. In case you don't know. Boys, you come and cast the only can't you let me. Yeah, who's the Hey, if you didn't this dance, please, what dance did you do? I'm sure I'm not doing anywhere with you. Guys, you guys get the gist. Moving on, this one says favorite movie slash TV series growing up. Um, Super Story. I remember I used to watch Super Story a lot. That's the only thing I remember from childhood. Um, there's this one they used to show on MCA that had, I think, that had like story time. Tales by Moonlight. Yes, I love Tales by Moonlight as well. Um, favorite sport slash game as a child. I played table tennis for a while. I played snooker. Um, then I like to do treading the needle. Yeah. Craziest slash weirdest thing you did as a child. So growing up, mom, people always say, do not open the door for strangers, yeah? So one of my aunties came all the way from me now, Auntie Bola. I hope she has forgiven me now. So she came all the way from me now. And I was at home with my younger brother. When she came, she knocked and she was like, go, go, go. I'm like, yes, who is it? And I went there, I said it was Auntie Bola. I was excited to see Auntie Bola. But then I remembered that the rule was, do not open the door for anybody other than me and your dad. That was the rule for my mom. So when she came, she was like, hi, Dami, how are you? I'm like, fine. I greeted her well. She was like, open the door. And I'm like, nope, I'm sorry. I can't open the door. She was like, why? Now it's me, Auntie Bola. I'm like, Auntie Bola, see, I know it is you. I love you. I miss you. All of these good things. But I'm sorry, I can't open the door. So, you know, she was. She came like in the morning and my mom was due to come back like in the, in the evening around like 7 or 6.30. I, she asked me to give her water. I went to the kitchen. I got water. I put it outside the kitchen. I set everything and I told her, I went back to the front door and I told her, Auntie Bola, your water is at the back of the house. Then she, when I prepared lunch, I served her at lunch the same way. So when we came back from work, mom was like, um, how, what are you doing outside? I'm not opening the door. Why did you open the door for Auntie Bola? I'm like, it was you that told me specifically not to open the door for strangers. Best memory. Um, I don't know. I think most of my childhood are actually best memories. I remember traveling with the family. I remember birthday parties and many things like that. They actually lost of many of my best memories. So yeah. I think traveling would be one of my best memories. Traveling with my family was would be one of my best memories. Worst memory, um, the time we got attacked by thieves in our from our house. And that day I was actually watching Super Story. It was on the first day because I was watching Super Story. That's how I remember. And I remember they, they had a gun to my dad's head. And I'm like, please don't kill my daddy. Please don't kill. I was walking at the back of the And then they turned to me with the gun. And I'm like, 
so it's not something that i want to experience again it's not something i wish for anybody to experience again um but it's not it's not one of my favorite things to actually remember next question says a phrase slash sentence you said repeatedly as a child i used to say i want to eat yam and popopo -po -po. yam and popopo -po -po for me was yam and ipopopa -po 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 is a yoruba lang is a yoruba word and in english it means palm oil so when they ask me what do you want to eat i'll be like yam and popopo -po -po, because i probably couldn't pronounce it properly share a picture from your childhood days i'll actually get it i have them around i didn't see this question in time but i'll get it and probably put this at the end of the video put it at the end of the video Aja butter slash Aja Paku. I, I'll, I'll, I'll say i'm an Aja butter in one word describe your childhood um childhood was moral because as the firstborn, you are expected, a lot of things are expected of you, and uh, it was just moral in every way. So, I it was just moral. I had to do things right and things like that. So, childhood for me was moral. Who was your favorite parent? Who was your favorite parent? My favorite parent was my dad. Growing up, now it's kind of they're kind of in between, they're shuffling between my love. You get um, it was my dad because my dad would never beat me, he would never scold me, and um, you know, you just say if, if you do something wrong, you just be like, don't do it again. But my mom, on the other hand, who was a teacher at the time, a full-time teacher, would be like, Why did you do this? <laughs> the next day, she will spank you. And there's this thing she used to do, this, it's called a bara, like, she, they give you in the middle of your back, so your hands can't reach it. So just like... <laughs> <laughs> so, um, my dad was my favorite. He never actually beat me. And, you know, he would just, he would just say, don't do it. You know, my mom, on the other hand, would always beat me and scold me. And she was just not my favorite for that. And my dad was always got me gala soon every time he went to work and came back so what else could i ask for what was your biggest offense and how were you punished i wouldn't say it was my biggest offense but it was actually my biggest punishment so at that time mom used to do part-time tailoring now she's into it full-time and we just moved to our house now we just moved to our house that was like over a decade ago it was not developed you could barely get anything so as a girl, I was very curious. I wanted to know how to sew and things like that. So I went onto a sewing machine and I decided to sew. So I broke several needles and left her with none to use when she came back from work. And I, I think she had a delivery due. Maybe she had a delivery due the next day or something like that. Then she came back from work and she wanted to sew. And she thought that she didn't have any more needles and all her needles had broken. So she called me because, of course, I was a prime suspect. My brother wouldn't want to sew. And my baby sister was a baby and she wouldn't go near the sewing machine. And then she called me and she was like, um, then I'm like, I'm like, yes, mommy, did you use, use my sewing machine? I'm like, yeah, I've never even seen it today. And the, where the sewing machine is placed, there's no way you walk around the house that you will not see that sewing machine. So I was actually, I was, I was um, punished and she actually flogged me. I was, I was punished for lying. Not, it wasn't even more for breaking the needles, but for the fact that I lied. It was something that was glaring and it was clear that there's no other person that would do this in this house but you so my camera battery died and i had to make immediate switches next question said were you smacked as a form of discipline and with what yes i was smacked by my mom not by my dad and it was with her hand biggest fear my biggest fear was losing someone i love i think that has always been my biggest fear and um, yeah that is really my biggest fear Favorite snack. My favorite snack growing up was Capricorn and Gala. The combination was just perfect. And later it turned to Gala and Capris, Gala and um, Ribena. But those were and those are still. Only that you know Gala is a lot different now. But we blame it on the economy. Bad habits. Mm, I can't remember right now. I I really don't remember the bad habits growing up. Not that I'm perfect or anything. In fact, I'm far from perfect. But I just can't remember anyone right now anyway that is it for this tag i have answered all the questions in the tag if you have enjoyed this video hit the like button subscribe to my channel and also go over to chichi life's channel chichi life i used to name is chichi life but my name is chichi so go over to her channel and also if you have any of these questions you feel like you want to answer go ahead and let's go let's, let's have fun in the comment sections any question you think you want to answer any question you think it's bringing it back childhood memories for you. Thank you so much for watching. I remain Damia Labi. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Like this video if you have enjoyed it. And I'll catch up with you in my next video. Also, in the mood and in the, in the spirit of the celebration of Children's Day, go out, go out and share love. Go out and show love to children in your neighborhood. It doesn't necessarily have to be your child alone. Okay, so that is it for this video. I'll catch up with you in my next video. Bye. Link it in the description.
Yeah.